good morning from Puerto Mayan, Chile. How's it going? I'm about to start three classes. It's 7 a.m. So, yeah. Normally I would be in Concepcion, but due to the coronavirus and certain circumstances, I am currently living in Puerto Montt in the south of Chile, but it's certainly beautiful here. So I'll get into that later, but for now I'm about to do three hours of classes. So I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to put something for you to be able to put some questions in for me really early. So um, I'll be looking forward to those. So see you around. Okay, I'm going to start answering some questions. The first one is this, and the answer is yes. I just posted some information about how much it costs to live here and how much I earn from my job, but I'm going to continue talking about this. One of the most important things to know about Chile is that in comparison to the rest of Latin America, Chile has prices that resemble American and European numbers. But this does not mean that um, it's difficult to live here because you typically earn a wage that matches that. And so, especially if you have a job that's online teaching through um, International TEFL Academy, this can be very convenient for you because I don't think it's difficult at all and your money goes a lot further. So yes, my answer is definitely yes to this question. Yes, I definitely agree. Um, so in the last post, I put some reasons why anyone should move to Chile. But in the next part, I'm going to talk about why I personally moved here and why it was difficult and some problems I had. So like I was saying in the image, the language school that I got hired by allowed me to have a visa, but I worked through italki to get the majority of my income. Um, but no, I did this when I got here, and that's totally possible. Alright, so this is a typical day of me teaching on the bed or on the desk that I showed you earlier. I work on italki, so I'm going to show you what the italki interface looks like. This is a website that just lets students pick whatever teacher they want amongst thousands. You can choose language, you can choose the country uh, that they're from, and you can also put the price on how much you want to sell your product for. And then you typically meet on Skype after that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys an interview of one of my students telling you guys about our classes. Hello, my name is Alicia. I'm from, from Spain, from the south of Spain, con in concrete, uh, from Seville. But I, uh, I have been living in Barcelona for about 10 years. Um, I start, uh, started uh, to learn, I started learning English with Greece because I had to, to practice so much my, my speaking, how you can see. <laughs> Um, I need it for my for my job. I have uh, just started in a new job uh, in in May. So and what do you do in classes? Tell them tell them what do you think about the classes and what we typically do in a day of classes. Okay, I think the my classes with Chris are so interesting because um, he focused um, on on the um, the functional english to to get to make me um, speak english more fluently with 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 all my partners um it's not it's, it's not only focus on the grammar but i i study okay now we're going to the supermarket i'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit of the neighborhood how things look out here and then on top of that of course the supermarket so you're gonna see that in a little bit one of the things i love about chile is that there's always places to buy food even in neighborhoods you can find that everywhere <laughs> This 
to one of the places I'm talking about. You can find fresh food all over. You're in a neighborhood and there's always bread. Chile is huge on bread, number two eater of bread in the world. So now we're going to go in the supermarket and of course they take really strict measures. Nobody is allowed without a mask on and you have to get your temperature taken. So we're going to go do that. 